Hello, Earth Signs. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your daily advice, oracle card messages for today. Earth Signs, I gotta say, we have got one of the most beautiful, beautiful readings I have seen in a long time. I'm like flabbergasted myself over it. Um, you know, the first, let me say, I need a drink. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <coughs> um, for as much as I love, you know, doing six more cards, um, you know, as some of you know, I have a Facebook page. I could load an hour's video to my Facebook page and it takes 18 minutes. YouTube takes forever. With my Facebook page, I could actually, um, you know, um, record and um, upload the video as I'm recording. With YouTube, it, it you can't do that. I don't know why, but it, it just it takes too long. I don't know if it's the time of the day. I don't know, but I do tend to post though at like five a.m. You know, six. Um, but in any event, um, my Facebook page is quick. And so I was doing that with YouTube, you know, trying to upload and, and post, like I said. And yesterday, you know, I, I, you know, just recorded it and started to upload it yesterday morning. And it just, I, I, I sat here and read, and read books for 25 minutes. It just, it took that long. And I, I couldn't believe it. But so anyway, this morning... Okay, a card from Dorian Virtue and Angel Tarot. Um, and for those of you that, you know, my new YouTube subscribers, you know, thank you, welcome. You, I love you guys for subscribing. And if you want to check out my Facebook page, it is Tarot Readings by Roxby, and the link is listed below. Um, I do great stuff on there, too. Um, free readings, giveaways. But, um, okay, Magical Messages from the Fairies. By Doreen Virtue, Mermaids and Dolphins, Doreen Virtue, and for the Romance portion, um, Archangels, by the Romance Angels, by Doreen Virtue. Okay, Earth Signs. We are like on fire this month, like new beginnings, like constantly, new beginnings. And if, for some of you that want romance, <clears throat> like serious soulmate relationship romance, this card clearly tells me, I mean, all, all of the cards tell me, you know, it's coming. This card is all about, you know, news coming in, hope in the writer to wait to row, to row. It's, you know, wands shooting down the whole, the whole card and, and, you know, arrows of love, you know, I see it as, and, and it's communication. It's, it's, it's news you've been waiting for. It's, it's, it's success. You know, I just, this is, a, this is a great card. It's a great card. Um, you know, eights represent movement. Um, I can't even think of what else right now. But, but, I mean, it's you know, in this deck, it's it's you know, one minute one minute you're going, you're busy, you're busy, you're doing, 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 and then, you know. You feel, you know, so many things, you have so many things to do. 
You know, you go from quiet to busy like that. It's just instantaneously. Um, you know, it's... It's a welcome change. You know, you may feel a bit stressed, excited. You know, like... Oh my gosh, all this at once, you know, like just, you know, what do I do? Um, eights. Um, oh gosh. Movement, movement, activity, speed, power. Speed, power. Um, Speed, power, advancement, um, just, I mean, fast. And, and if you know, those of you that are waiting on news to hear from somebody, I think that's going to happen. And the whole entire situation, you know, by the, by the fairies. You know, I, I, there, there's healing. This, you know, I think their their daily message, you know, for your entire situation, you know, healing energy surrounds you and this situation. I literally just got this deck. I do refer to the book on this deck. But I knew instantly, I just felt, I just felt it. I didn't even need to look at the book to know that this card... I mean, you guys know I have I have so many oracle cards, and really, uh, it's impossible to, to 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 remember all these oracle cards. It's it's impossible. I think I have eighteen decks of oracle cards, and none of the oracle cards cards ever mean the same. Tarot, most of them, yes, basically, yes, and I have many of them too. But the these ones, you know. They're tough to memorize. But some of them, you just see it, and intuitively, you just know. I just see whatever this is, it's coming in fast. It's all around relationships. I mean, there's not a doubt in my mind that this whole entire message. Relate, I mean, Scorpios and water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You know, if any of that is in your moon sign, or your rising sign, I would check it out because that's all about endings. You know, your sun sign, you know, is really your soulmate. I mean, this this whole reading is soulmate connected. Soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. I feel it strongly. Earth signs. Strongly, I feel this. Some of you have been praying for this. Waiting to hear from this person. I could go on and on about this reading, like honestly. And we're already at how many minutes? Oh gosh. I mean, the, uh, your prayers have been answered with this card. The sa this situation is healed. You could be healing, helping other people. You know, there are situations. However, it resonates for you. Okay, I I have I, I have had these cards a long time. Earth signs. Oh, but what I was saying, you know, fires the all the fire signs. You know, if you know if you, if any of your sun, moon, or rising signs are in water signs, it's all about endings. If it's in fire sign. It's the same thing. The water signs and the and the fire signs are struggling. Water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you have either one in your moon or rising sign, just see which one resonates more for you. Okay, with that being said, I never pull this card. Never. All the readings I've done for people, myself, once for myself, once. Never, never. 
this card is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. New romance. New romance. With the spiral basis is here for you now. I, I love dolphins. I mean, that's why I'm just... I love this deck. Um, you've definitely been in a great relationship. Or the relationship that you're waiting for to come in. It's going to be, you know, beautiful. Love. Deep spiritual connection. Emotional connection with this card, I feel. You know, you know, with this card too, it's about you know, like how do I want to explain this? I'm sorry, when I pause for a few seconds, I'm just thinking. I mean, you know, you know, when I look at this card, you know, for some of you, you could already know this person, I feel like, you know, and, I, and, I, and before, before I even got this card, I feel like for some of you, you already know this person that, you know, this person just makes you feel like this is the infinity, the infinity symbol too. Eight. Oh my gosh, that's two eights. I just realized that. This entire message is strong. That's two eights. Movement, speed, power. That's, this is coming in fast for earth signs. I just realized that. Wow. Like for us to, in our readings for the past six weeks have been new beginnings, starting over. I have, a, I have a tendency of when I get excited about a reading of going all over the place and I'm so sorry that I do that. But what I was saying about the water signs and the fire signs, but the earth signs and the air signs, the earth signs, um, like for me, I'm a Virgo, but I'm a Capricorn moon, but I'm also a, Scap a Scorpio in my Venus. So, um, Where was I going with that? Oh my goodness. I just, you know, we're we're definitely. There's new beginnings for us. We're 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 grounded. You know, the air signs seem to be going through some rough times. They're struggling, but they're progressing. Where we're like really moving on, and. The water and the fire signs are really struggling with relationships. The re I mean, relation love and relationships are strong in all of the readings that I do. The private readings. I mean, it's so hard not to look even at the monthlies that I do, especially the morning this morning this this oracle morning reading. I mean, it, it's impossible not to look at this reading and just be. It's totally relationship related. Totally, I mean, you guys, I'd love comments on this, really. I would. 
You know, as I was saying with this card, this card, some of you already know this per person. You know, like the 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 energy, the partnership, it, it just flows naturally. It just really karmic too. I see it as karmic too. Heaven, the universe, it's taking care. It's taking care of it for you. Regardless, and this card tells me that that too that that you know there's healing there's healing energy around it really and and, and then there's you know past life relationships you know for some of you you know you've definitely known this new you know I've known this person before um. You know, I mean, you know, if, 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 if you're wondering in any way, shape, or form if this person is your soulmate, I mean, both of these cards tell me so. Yes, definitely. Definitely. If you're already together in a relationship, you're definitely with your soulmate. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, you know, is it the person that I'm that I'm that I'm thinking in my mind right now? It absolutely is. He's yours. She's yours. You know, and and even though the answer is yes to all that, you know, we do have many, you know. I said that with this card too, you know. What you know, I mean, we do have you know. Oh, my hands are like killing me. We, we do have like soulmate connections in our lives. You know, like you know, best friends. Um, people that you share, you know, you know, your intimate secrets with, like a bestie, but I, I, I see this more as, you know, a, like a soulmate connection card, like car, it's a karmic card to me, that You know, for me, you've you've met this person, you know this person, you've worked with this person, you know this person. This person is whoever this person is to you. Oh, earth signs, how many minutes am I at here? 18, I'm almost really quick. I am really, really almost so tempted to pull the next two cards or the next card maybe. Let me think about it for a second. All right, I'm doing it. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, This does, this, earth signs, this does not ever, like, I couldn't make this happen if I wanted to. On my Facebook page, I used to shuffle in front of you guys. I mean, and, and I, and it is, I, there is a couple videos of me, you know, I doing it. I mean, I let the universe pick the cards. You know, and if... One fault flies out, two, three. I keep them anymore.
That is, it's just so made all the way around. I, I, you, you can't. I mean, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You know this person. I mean, you, you, I said that, and this card is, you confirms that you already know this person. This person you're thinking about is your soulmate. It's, it's definitely your soulmate. You've known this person. This person. Earth signs. I am serious. It's being healed. And it, for those of you that are waiting for this, it, it's coming in. That is the energy of all of this today. That is the energy. That is a... Listen, I mean, even... I mean, when I saw this card, I was in amazement. Like, amazement. But, I mean, now the... Now, I mean... And then for this card to even, and then these two to follow. Just out of curiosity, you know, it was, it was actually just, um, it is safe for you to love if you're curious and stay optimistic about your love life. So, I mean, either one of them cards could have came in. But instead, we got soulmate and calling in your soulmate. I find that incredibly strong earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm actually quite floored myself by that, actually. If you're already together, I, I just feel that Maybe hearing from somebody from your past, honestly, I do feel that, and that information, honestly, is gonna come in sooner than you think. I don't. I'm just feeling that for some of you that are already in a relationship, I'm just telling you what I that what the cards tell me. And yeah, I think you already know who it is. For real. Okay? I mean, uh, I'm just saying, okay? You've been waiting on this person. You're you definitely... And I, uh, I'm going to be honest. I mean, it's definitely blessed. And it is heavenly, it is, it is heavenly blessed. And if you're single, well, need I say more, I mean, if you're single and the, and you're not, you know, with anybody, I would say definitely get out there, because there is love out there for you, for sure. Your soulmate is around you. You already know this person. Without a doubt. There's not a, I, there's not a doubt. Earth signs. I am an earth sign. And I really find this message to be incredibly interesting. To say the least. But the energy is there. It is a warning. Seems like, you know, for the past couple weeks, for us, ours is about, you know, Moving on in different areas, you know, career-wise and love and relationship-wise. So it's either or. I feel that strongly for this, for our earth signs. I'm, I am excited about the monthlies. I am. I cannot wait. Mine usually run, um, uh, you know, the 11th. It'll run from the 11th of August to September of August, and then the rest of them, 12th of August. It's just until September of August, but I really need to start with, with the water signs. And then I need to go to the fire signs. And then I already feel that already. I need to do them first. Water signs definitely are first because they are just not moving anywhere. They haven't for, in, the, in a whole month, 
It's been the same. Fire signs have been back and forth. Virgo, you know, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Earth signs, we were good. We're good. And so are the air signs. So, I don't know where I'll go after that. But, for the monthlies, water signs are up first. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me at Tour Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed the message. I honestly think it was an amazing message, really. Um, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.